Hello there, my name is Ralph Moore and I am a feminist. As you can hopefully also see from where you're sitting, I am a man. Now, when people have both pieces of information about me readily to hand, the question they tend to ask is why. Not why I'm a man, of course, but why, as a man, I should, I should identify as a feminist. Why should I align myself to a cause that apparently doesn't benefit me, per se, and is treated with um, increasing hostility, really, by the media, especially in the US? I think the reason for both of these things, of course, why people ask that question a lot, and why the media, is, or partially why the media is so hostile to it, is because, of course, they don't understand what feminism really means. For example, contrary to popular belief, um, being a feminist does not make you anti-men, as in my position that would cause a lot of unnecessary self-loathing and would be fairly oxymoronic. Feminism isn't where women think they're superior to anybody else. They just want to be treated like every man is treated in this society. Meninism is exactly the opposite. They believe that women are under them and that women are used for their like personal beings or personal use. So when people are commenting against feminism, they are supporting sexism. There is no in between. You're either a feminist or a sexist. Sadly, most sexists are unaware that they are sexist and they make up most of the population. They are unaware that sexism has been forced onto them either through their parents or what they see on social media. People who speak against feminism are scared of change. They are scared of the idea that everyone will be treated the same, instead of one gender having rule over the other. They are scared of accepting everyone as an individual human being, not categorizing them as male or female. Can men be feminists? Don't! I feel that you've gotten the wrong impression of me. What, that you are anti-men and loud and scary? Feminism is about equality, not about women. Okay, interesting. That's uh, what I think. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> of course men can be feminists. The only issue comes up is when men try to take over feminism. If men want to identify as feminists, please, by all means. Men should identify as feminists. They should absolutely identify as feminists. Uh, the only thing that gets me annoyed is when men well, try to make- Well, you saying the only thing that gets me annoyed is a blatant lie. <laughs> One thing that annoys me is when men try to make themselves leaders in feminism. But okay, here, just to play devil's advocate. Oh, God. Do you think that white people can't ever speak about racism? They can't. They just shouldn't tell black people, like, what to think and what to do. I agree. I don't know why I asked the question. <laughs> the most basic premise of feminism is that women have not been and still are not on an equal footing with men in the world that we live in. What we seek primarily is gender equality, but of course that comes with a whole plethora of very complex issues about it and covers many different areas. Um, however, the simplest way to find out if your beliefs are compatible with those of feminism, in case any of you in watching this video are interested, um, <clears throat> is to answer these two simple questions, which are taken from the excellent website areyouafeminist.com. The first is, do you think all human beings are equal? The second is, do you think women are human beings? If you answered yes to both of these questions, then you can probably feel fairly justified in calling yourself a feminist. They're scared that they're not going to hold the same importance as a person if their power as a certain gender is taken away. Children today are still being indoctrinated with old concepts of gender roles, with girl toys focused more on rearing and kitchen duties while boy toys are made around more masculine things such as building and fighting. We should be teaching children that it doesn't matter where you're a male, a female, or anything. We need to stop thinking of people in regards to their gender. We need to stop associating people on their level of power just because they are born with a certain pair of genitals. People, regardless of their gender or race, should be able to live their life happily with no worries. However, if, like me, you identify as male and also want to identify as a feminist, it's probably not always best to advertise yourself straightforwardly as a male feminist with that particular label. Firstly, because it makes your feminism seem rather dependent upon your gender, as though being a man is an additional caveat and you're only interested in feminism as far as it covers issues of being male, because of course it does, but um, that's just one part of it. And secondly, um, there's a element of feminist subculture where people, some people who identify as male feminists aren't doing it out of an interest in feminism per se, but really out of a desire to get attention and to add to an image. It's basically a way of saying, ah yes, look ladies, how politically correct and liberal I'm being, in that kind of way. 
So that's the thing about being an ally, is oh, you have to listen. You can't speak over, you can't like add like, but what if, but this, but that. This don't try to explain. Unrelated, but when you're listening to someone, don't just stare at them with a blank face. Make sure you give some words of encouragement, ask a few key questions. Do you not see that I'm listening in my eyes? Uh, so I can't see your eyes because they're looking at your phone. That's true. Don't, if you want to be an ally, don't look at your phone while people are talking to you. I think we just cracked feminism. <laughs> Um, in the same way that it's rather sexist to say something like, oh, a female politician or a female doctor or something like that because of, because of the assumption that um, a doctor or a politician would normally be a man and a female politician would have to have an additional adjective just to identify them, which is very sort of male normative, if you can get my drift in that, that particular direction. Saying that you're a male feminist is, is basically saying, okay, a man is very unusual for being a feminist and it's something that, that still has that slightly transgressive edge which isn't always very good as a lot of people would like to say you know, feminism is something for everyone not just for women and a man who identifies as a feminist is, is well is currently being unusual in terms of the culture we have but ideally it wouldn't be i know that it's tough because a lot of times you don't want to take up space in a movement that isn't about you i struggle with this with black lives matter i want to support black lives matter but i don't want to talk over or pr or pretend i know more or tell them what to do it's literally just lower the level of your voice. Just be quieter. <laughs> Just be quieter. Something I hear a lot from non-feminists, particularly from other men that's very frustrating, is the idea that feminism is no longer necessary because its aims have already been achieved. The idea is that now in Western society, men and women have legal equality. Well, aside from this not being strictly true, as I will go on to explain later, either in this, this video and probably more in more detail in later ones, Feminism covers a much wider range of issues than just the most basic legal ones. One of the battles that feminism has always fought, on one front or another, is against the idea of gender roles in society, and well, sort of challenging the norms that have been put down about men, about women, and about the fact that that's, that gender isn't really a binary concept between the two. We don't need to be scared. Feminism is a movement towards equal societies between male female, transgender people with no discrimination. People should not feel discriminated for being who they are. They should be able to live in peace without fearing of not living in the social norm. We need to change the social norm. We need to move to a society where men are not afraid to be vulnerable and women are allowed to be independent. A society where being male or female has no impact on their life. A society where the pressure is off and everyone can just be themselves. Thanks for everyone who stayed with me and listened to my talk about feminism and what it's for and what it really is supposed to do. The thing is, is that if you want to be a male feminist, you just have to listen to the women around you and to support what they're saying. Like, instead, like, for instance, here's I the think, thing that no, I do. No, let me say something. If I, hold I'd on. like to say something. Is this a test? <laughs> if you want to support... If you're a man and you say that you're not a feminist, then what you're saying is, is you don't respect women. A practical next steps would be if you have a thought about feminism, instead of, and you're uh, a man, instead of writing it, why don't you look and see if there are women in the movement that have been saying that same thing and then retweet them. There are ways, especially on social media, to like boost women's voices rather than like making it about you. That's true. For life's bleachable moments.